Bhang is in great demand on the occasion of Shivratri. On this day, both licensed and unlicensed shops sell huge amounts of bhang to the faithful. The cheap intoxicant, which is in wide use in eastern India, there being over 73 licensed shops in the city, is prepared by grinding the leaves and buds of the female cannabis plant. There are some 73 shops here. I can't say anything specific about the consumption of bhang. But yes, on Shivratri, it's much higher than on other days. The leaves and the buds are first rinsed in warm water and then either ground into a paste and sold as bhangolis or mixed with thandai, an ice beverage prepared with almonds, spices, milk and sugar. While bhang is also ground in machines, its users believe that when prepared manually, it is tastier and more effective. The demand of bhang is very high on Shivratri because of its association with Lord Shiva. On Shivratri, the faithful treat it as prasad from the Lord who is believed to be very fond of it. Bhang is distributed as prasad which is religious offering during Shiva festivals like Mahashivratri and its consumption also goes up during Holi. Traditionally, bhang though intoxicating is not considered as a drug in the eastern region but as a sleeping aid and appetizer. Thandai is prepared using dry foods, milk and cream. We prepare it both with and without bhang. Its demand during Shivratri is high because of its connection with Lord Shiva.